everybody. This is Dorothy Kilty of Raccoon Alley Creations. And in one of the Facebook groups I'm in, Dreams and Grace? I can't remember the exact name, but I'll put a link to it below. But anyway, it's, it's a new group. And she's having a challenge. And this month, what she wants us each to do is pick one YouTuber who is, um, who inspires us. And then do examples. And she has a list of, of prompts for us to use. Um, and there are is one prompt for every letter of the alphabet. And so we'll be spotlighting the artists that we choose. Now, Suzanne at Nonstop Paper Crafts does a challenge um, every Tuesday. And it's an index card challenge. And she draws, um, I think, three words out. And... And she has to use those for her challenge. Now, I'm not doing the index card. What I'm doing is making a pocket or a tuck or something. And mine is fairly large here. So I have a, a square. The base of the pocket is five inches square. So um, what I'm going to be doing is um, doing the transform. That was one of Suzanne's word. That option for her because I thought this was just fantastic to be honest with you so um, what we've got here we've got our five inch square base we've got four pieces of paper and these are two and a half inches wide which is half the width of the base or height width either and then um, five inches long so the same size as the base and then those four get folded in half um, what we're doing with this and what you want is for each of these to open uh, a different way so that this one is opening down, this one is opening towards the right, this one is opening up, and then this one will open to the left, okay? So that's the way they're all gonna open. Um, and so the first thing that we're gonna do is glue these bases down the way they are before I forget how they are. How's that? Um, so this one, the, the top is pointing up. And I'm going to line this up with the corner of the page. Okay? This one to the right, this one is going to open this way. So you can see that as they open, they cover up the one behind them. Okay, so let's put, yeah, what the heck, let's put it on this side. I wanted um, pieces of paper that the, um, the lines, that kind of has lines going either way. So that's why I chose ledger paper, graph paper would have worked uh, because a portion of this is going to be journaling space. Okay, so this one goes here. So this one is going to open up this way. Okay, so let's glue this down. Okay. It's going to open up this way. So let's head to the bottom corner. And you want this to be um, lined up with it, but not overlap it. It's very important that this doesn't overlap the other one, that, that it does open up successfully. Okay, so now we have, this one's going to go down, so this one needs to go across this way. So we'll put the glue on that. I, I just thought this was a fun idea. I love interactive things anyway. And um, so this was just fun. Okay, so now we have these four. Um, each of them, one. This one goes up. This one goes this way. This one comes down. So now they're kind of woven together, you can see. Okay, so now we're going to go like this. And now we want a picture to go um, on this. Now I'm gonna put the 
Edith Holden pictures on here. And it's really important that the picture meets up and makes sense. Okay, so like this. Okay, so now let's start gluing these four down. Okay, so we want them to line up with, see this is where the edge of this goes. Okay, this one is going to go right here. Again, we want them to line up, but we don't want them to overlap. So now this is going to go right here. So there's the tail. I want it to line up properly. Did I say that this five inch square paper was cut into two and a half inch squares so that they just fit over these folded pieces. One of the things I hate about Edith Holden's stuff is they always have gorgeous stuff in the back and you lose it and it's like, what do you want to lose? What do you want to keep? It's so hard to decide. Okay, and let's get this one down. Okay, so we want this to line up. Oh. Okay, but then we want to make sure that we can fold these the way they're supposed to fold. And we also want to make sure that we haven't accidentally glued them together. Glue them down. Okay, so this one goes this way. This one goes this way. This one goes this way. And this one goes this way. Okay, so now when we're open, we have this space. So now what we're gonna do is take these four pictures and we're gonna glue them here. So, again. I think I got this um, out of the magazine. What is that magazine? Oh gosh, it's a gorgeous magazine. I love it. Okay, let's get these glued down. So she had different uh, names for different ones. This is the first one, and I almost hate to use this channel or this, this letter uh, for my first item, but I'm going to do it anyway. So this is going to be my grace item which for G, which G just basically means do whatever you want. Um, Now I'm not going to have it be someplace else. I also, one of the items is to do a fancy fold. And I almost think that this could qualify for a fancy fold the way these um, fold together. So maybe, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll do that, call it a fancy fold. The, um, the words that she has in the challenge, I believe our uh, inspiration words, you know, to see where we're going to take it. So, okay, let me see if she's lined up. And this. Okay, and now let's see if these will all fold. This one is going to go over this way. 
So there we go. That's the transformation. Hmm, this slipped a little bit. What is it? Did it slip when I was... Um, it did slip a little bit. Well, okay. I will trim it off. But I want to thank um, Nonstop Paper Crafts. I'll put a link to the video where she does this technique um, and on her channel. And we will, um, uh, I will also put a link to the Facebook group that I'm doing this for. And I just think it's kind of fun. So thanks for being with me. And I hope you're having a great weekend.